Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Zaz Rides. I don't know if you can see anything because I can barely see anything. This fog is thick. What a great riding day to take out the 1250 to Angeles Crest, see what we can do with it compared to some other bikes. And of course, ever since the upgrade, this mirror has been absolutely useless. So I already did the 500 mile break in here. Went smooth. I thought I was taking it a little rough, but then I checked out the uh, the RPM pulley charts for a stock 883. I wasn't coming anywhere near uh, going too hard on it. So it looks like I did pretty good breaking it in. And it has been smooth sailing the whole time. As you can hear, she purrs, she rides nice, and uh, she is quick now. Holy hell, I'll tell you. <laughs> As you can see, and she sounds amazing since we took the baffles out. Makes it sound like a whole new huge bike and it's really fitting now. So we're going to meet up with a couple people, maybe three, four of us in total. And you'll be actually able to compare this ride with the 1250 with uh, the when we did the Angeles Crest on an 883. Although, to be fair, when we uh, when it was an 883, I did have my passenger with me, and today I do not, because she did not enjoy Angeles Crest. So I'm really gonna be able to have a good time here. Not to say I don't have a good time with my lady, but she makes me slow down. <laughs> We're going west. Holy sh Oh my god, those are some Wow! Wow! Jesus! That was ridiculous! Huh. Anyways, give you a little taste of what the 1250 can do here, huh? Don't hit any crappy bumps in the road again. Hello. What's up? Good morning. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> so we got the two 114 M8, and yes, the 110 Lowrider S. We'll have to see. We'll have to compare. <laughs> okay, so we're here waiting for them to get their coffee. Here is the 1250. Doesn't look too different. Except we've got, can't really see them, our billet aluminum push rod covers down there. Well, they're uh, the bases. We've got the hammer cylinders. You can see the extra silvery part right there. The 500 mile break in is done. And uh, it rides great. It's awesome. We've got no oil leakage, no oil problems anymore, so that's good. Runs excellent. You can see our little hammers there. All right, we're heading out. We're going to get some food first, then the crest. Let's yeah, go. <laughs> All right, let's get you some startup sounds here. She sounds so good now. Even though it's foggy and cloudy, still a good riding day. It's always a good riding day. Especially when you have all these horsies between your legs. That's 
not fair. In that last pull, he had me start in fifth. I should have been in fourth. Apparently we're doing some hooligan good here. Where are you going? <laughs> All right, we're here for Beria. How long you been coming here, Johnny? My girl's gonna be mad at me because she uh, she loves Beria, and she didn't come for this one. Oh well. The Beria is here, yeah. It's good. 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 Okay. All right, finished with lunch at Beria Rosa Maria. We got the prime parking spots up front. Let's get on the bikes and go. Georgia is ready. All right, let's hope that mirror holds. I had to do a little adjustment. All right, so now we're headed up to Angeles Crest. We're gonna see how the 1250 performs with some uh, pretty demanding mountain roads. This is the first time I'm taking the 1250 up into the mountains since upgrading from the 883. I think it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna take some restraint not to do something stupid. Ah, Mr. Trejo up there. We are gonna get some bridge noise up in here, up in here. Looks like they're gonna have me right up front with Johnny today. <laughs> He's definitely the quickest. Get them swoopies in. Get comfortable with some leaves before we get up here and do some real leaning. Big old group here, hey, what's up guys? <laughs> Sorry, man. Woo! <laughs> tell you dude this 1250 is kicking ass up here i'm really not trying to go too hard i am pushing myself with my skills here because i am alone but uh johnny is our fastest craziest rider for sure 
doesn't do anything too stupid, but he's fast. And this thing is keeping up. The weight to power ratio on these bikes, I think, is almost the same. We did a couple pulls on the freeway, and we seemed to go about the same speed. He wasn't pulling ahead of me or anything, and he was wide open, and so was I. All right, here we are at the top. <laughs> Passed us up, we gotta go get him. This bee's up there. <laughs> Stopped up at Newcomb's Ranch here. Orchard's been getting a lot of love today. Had a couple people walk up just talking to me about it. <laughs> Friggin' love that thing now. Just out here enjoying the nature. Gonna take a leak. Get back on the bike. It's nice up here. Dang, these ropes are fun, man. I tell you, that 1250 rips it. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna finish up here, get back on the bike. Head down the mountain, and I'll probably take off at home. I don't know if they're gonna do something afterward, but. I left the lady at home today, so I gotta get back to her. Just ditching her for the day, but she would not have liked this ride. <laughs> not at all. All right, let's get let's get to it. All right, good times we're had on the crest. Time to head out and go home. Oh, it's been a good friggin' time today, man. Thing friggin' rips! Alright, Johnny boy, let's go! Oh, good, with the sun in my eyes! Ah! Time to head back down the mountain, taking the fun way, of course. Hit that freeway and head on back home. I really hate people who do this, I gotta say. a lot of d-cell pops i either gotta turn up that fuel mixture screw or put on a new air cleaner needs more air or less gas one of the two so far man the 1250 has been absolutely killing it i don't know if georgia is a fitting name anymore. I'm wondering if I should be renaming her now that she's just a whole new monster. And this is before I do any more performance work on it. Same air cleaner, same pipes, same cam, same everything. Still even on the stock pulleys. Can't imagine what she could turn into with more work on those. So I'm wondering, should we change the name? Is Georgia still a fitting name? Because I feel like that's a bit of a uh, classy old lady thing. And I don't know if it's fitting anymore. Almost everything has been running great on her so far. The only thing uh, I have concern about is my clutch. I can't seem to get it dialed in just right. When I'm engaging the clutch, it's almost out near the end. And that's not too bad. But the issue I'm having is when I pull the clutch in to disengage, I can still feel the engine uh, breaking a little bit uh, for maybe half a second before it fully disengages. So I think what I'm gonna do is take it into the guys at Track or Die who really know what they're doing. They're amazing dudes. They've done great work for me in the past. So I figure that's what I ought to do. Just, pe just bite the bullet, pay them a nominal fee to get my clutch dialed in, make it just right, make it perfect for me. And then I can start focusing on the tuning, the upgrading to a uh, chain drive, maybe get an air cleaner on here, get a little more air to the bike. Got those open pipes now, so it ought to perform nicely. And then maybe down the road, put a two into one on here to really eke out some extra power from it. I don't know, it's got me thinking about more stuff, about more stuff I want to do to old Georgia. And I'll take the time in between doing those jobs to get used to the 1250 engine, the power that it pushes out, because it's still pretty new to me. I've only been riding it after the break-in for about a week. I think I put maybe 200, I guess 300 miles on it with uh, today's ride. But yeah, I'm excited for the future. 
of old Georgia here and the channel and the content I will bring you. <laughs> Looks like we had a little stop here and then we'll continue in a minute. Oh, I see why we have to stop here. We've got a little wreck do. A Fiat, huh? Better fix it again, Tony. Hope everybody's all right. Dang. Look like a pretty gnarly one. Glad to see it wasn't another rider, so they're more likely to be okay driving the car, you know. For us, it's not that simple. Wow, check out that view. Look at all them mountains up there. Wow. Wow, guys, look at them mountains. Wow. Oh gosh, this road is freaking awesome. Beautiful. Could be a little smoother, but boy, look at these views when we're going just a little bit slower <laughs> so we can enjoy them. And I don't have to hit all these turns just perfectly. <laughs> Man, the whole way up, I was just focusing 100% on hitting these turns perfectly. The quicker you go, the better you gotta hit your turns. Luckily, on this sports car, I can just whip it around like nothing. If you're considering doing a 1250-1275 kit on your 883, freaking do it. It's awesome. <laughs> you don't need head work. You don't need cam work. You don't need any of that crap. Just buy their kit, do what they say, put it in, follow the directions to a T, and you will have one kick-ass bike. You hear all them poppins? Don't want to roll on this through the hood. Might get shot at him. Return fire! Now, every time we come up into the mountains, I just think, boy, am I so lucky to live so close. And it's just so awesome! These roads are just so fun! Bye, Angeles National Forest! It's been real! <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, guys, that's gonna about do it for this episode. I'm just headed home, just a bunch of freeway riding from here. But as you can see, Georgia is back with a new engine in her new 1250 that absolutely kicks ass. Anyways, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell, get some notifications of when I upload. I upload on a pretty frequent basis here. I will see y'all in the next video, and until then, y'all ride safe now, you hear?